welcome back to my channel, it's me, Tara. Um, I hope you're all well. Today I thought I would do my video on baby names. It's been a really big subject, like last month on Channel Mum, and a lot of YouTubers have been doing it, so I thought it would just be fun to um, do it, basically. So, um, when I was pregnant with Amelia, we didn't know what we were having. I didn't, we were kind of in two minds whether we were going to find out or not. But I think I might do a gender um, video just to kind of say why we didn't find out and kind of the whole, whole sort of how I felt. Because I think that's the next topic, um, gender disappointment. And um, that's like a next topic on Channel Mum. So I might just do another video on that. Um, because I don't want this one to be too long. Um, yeah, we didn't know what we were having, so me and my me and my ex partner were kind of debating like on names for Amelia. Um, for obviously we didn't know what we were having, so we had to have boy names and girl names, and we really struggled with boys. We didn't struggle as much with girls because we both wanted a girl. Like we wouldn't have minded if we had a boy, but we both wanted a girl. Um, so we both had more like sort of confirming on girl names like we both sort of wanted then we did on boys names and because he's Jamaican um, they've got family sort of generations of names that they want to use for boys so I don't think I would have had much of a say when it came to it in the end. Um, I liked for a boy I liked the name Mason he really didn't like it. It comes around to it comes to the end of my pregnancy he was like yeah if you want to call if we have a boy if you want to call him Mason then that's fine and then obviously we both came up with he would have had two middle names we both come up with a middle name that would have meant something both to both of us so if we had had a boy his name would have been mason david george smith um george after my dad and david after his best friend we could kind of agreed on that because obviously we both had a say obviously i had the same on his on his first name but both had a say on his middle name obviously he had David because David's his best friend and I had George because obviously George is a family name on my dad's side there's three generations of just George William um so that's quite a big name and it would have meant a lot to me if my son had a middle name of George not as much a beginning name I don't mind the name George it's a very strong name it's nice for when they're a baby it's nice as they grow up but I don't think it would be a name I would use for a first name. I don't know, you might be surprised if I have a boy in the future. I might I might call him George, I don't know. Um, but that was kind of our name that we came up for a boy. He really liked the name Alexandra for a boy because that, again, goes back to his family generation. I don't like the name. I really despise the name. I was like, no, I'm not calling mum. I'm not having a son called Alexandra. Like, that's not... Like, it just wouldn't have fitted in. I just don't think it would have. Um, and he was like, well, I'm not really over keen on it, but it's a generation of, like, our tradition. And I was like, he wasn't even over keen on the name. He just wanted to follow his generation of, obviously, boys having family names. Obviously, if his name wasn't, his first name wouldn't have been that. It would have had to sort of come in his middle name. So that was sort of like, we never completely 100% agreed on boys' names. Um, but obviously, he gave me Mason in the end. He said, if you want to call him Mason, we have a boy, then you can do that. For a girl, that was a completely different kettle of fish because um, we both came up with a name that we both kind of liked, but if the other one wasn't like overly, overly keen on it. He liked the name Lily for a girl, and then he mixed it up with Lily Ann because my mum's middle name is Anne, so he mixed it up with Lily Ann, and I was like, okay, like I wasn't overly keen on it, but I was like, okay, you can have that. And then. Um, then I came up with Nina Rose, um, and he hated the name Nina, he really didn't like the name Nina, but he was like, and then he was like, yeah, okay, if you want to use that name, then you can. So I would have, her, her name would have been hyphenated, it would have been Lillian, or it would have been Nina Rose, so it would have been like a handful of a name. And I, as much as I like the name Nina, and I, it's not very popular, um, and it's basically... Vampire Diaries, I was addicted to it, um, and her real name, Elena, is um, Nina, and I really like the name Elena, actually, as well, but he really did not like the name Elena, I really loved the name Elena, um, but he didn't like it, so it was like, no, that's not even going to be consideration, but um, he let me have Nina in the end, 
So I was like, I was looking one day and I was like, I'm really not keen on the names we've picked for a girl. Like I would say they're okay, but I didn't love them. So I looked again on the website and I was like, I came across Amelia. And I said to him, what about Amelia? And he was like, Amelia? I said, Amelia Smith, and because obviously that's her last name. And he was like, yeah, I really like that. And I was like, so do I. And then I said, how about Amelia Daisy? Because I love daisies. I absolutely love them. And they remind me of Spring Summer. And obviously she was due in May, the end of May. So I was like, it really would fit in with her title, Amelia Daisy. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So we came, we came up with Amelia Daisy for our third name. And like everyone was like, oh, so what, what names have you got? And I said, oh, we've got Mason for a boy. We've got Lillian for a girl or Nina Rhodes for a girl. And I kind of kept Amelia really close to my heart. Not being like, I would even put off the name of someone else called their baby Amelia. But it was like, that's my name. Like, I didn't really want to broadcast. That's what I was going to call her. So I kind of kept it close. And they were like, no, you've got a lover name. I was like, no, I don't. And they're like, yes, you do. So um, I kept it really, really tight to my heart because I hadn't really heard it, even though it's really popular now, um, I hadn't heard it. I hadn't heard anyone that I've ever known called Amelia. So it was like, that's the name. That is definitely like 100% in the back of my head when I come up with that name. It was like, that's her name. It's just a girl. And then due day came and we found out she was a girl. And then they were like, so what's she called? And I was like, Amelia Daisy Louise. Um, and obviously, I, I threw that name in and everyone was a bit shocked because obviously everyone had known her, mate, her name was Amelia Daisy. Because um, everyone knew I was hooked on that name. Like, I wouldn't have changed it for the world. So when she was born, I obviously threw in Louise because my auntie's called Louise. Um, my cousin's middle name's Louise. Um, then I've got another cousin that's called Louise. Uh, Louise is quite a popular name in our family for girls, both sides actually, my dad's side as well as my mum's uh, mom side. And we've got, I've got a friend, a really close family friend and her name is Louise and it's just a very, very really pretty name. And I think, again, it's sort of summery, sort of springy name, Louise. So it fitted in perfectly and I was like, yeah, her name's Amelia Daisy Louise Smith. And that is how Amelia got her name. Um, I just love the name Amelia, um, and it suits Amelia personally. I think it does. Amelia, look, Amelia. No, she's hooked on the TV. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I think it suits Amelia. It suits her personality, her features to the ground. I couldn't imagine her calling her anything else. I have got a few other names that I would have used if she was a boy, um, and that would have been Bailey. I really like the name Bailey, and I really like the name. I'm trying to think what else I like the name. I had another name for a boy, and he really didn't like it. I don't know what it was. I had Mason and Bailey were my top two names that I really liked, and I liked like. Um, Caleb. Caleb, I really like Caleb as well, but I don't know if it would have really gone um, with our boy really, like I don't know what features he would have had if I had a boy, so it would have been a really hard thing, but yeah, Amelia got her name eventually and I love it, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a video of my top names that I would that I would consider using if I was to have a second. Boys and girls, I think I might do like a top 10 names for you guys. Um, just to see what other ones I'm into. Because this one's really to say how Amelia got her name. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I haven't rambled too long. Um, and stay tuned for my next videos because they will be up very soon. Don't forget to push the big thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free and it means so much to me, everyone that does. I think I've got some new subscribers, so hi. And I'm going to do and um, reintroduce um, re the channel just so... Because I have put some hauls on like Iceland and stuff like that. So my video is going a little bit more into like... Um, seeing what you can buy on a budget because I'm on such a budget at the moment for food and stuff like that so I'm going to try and go around supermarkets and try and give you the best deals what I can find baby wise, food wise so my channel's going to be a little bit different it's still going to be mum stuff but going to be a lot more like recipes and quick meals what to do so stay tuned because this, this is going to get interesting because I don't really normally cook and stuff like that so it's going to get interesting so stay tuned much love, bye Say bye.